Hello and welcome back to this week's edition of Red Raider Weekly. While the Lady Raiders were fighting for their lives in a nail biter against Oklahoma, just around the corner, the Tech Man first round action against Missouri at the Sprint Center. Let's take a look. We pick things up in the early going Tech in the half court offense. John Robertson hits Brad Reese coming off the screen, and the senior dumps it into Mike Singletary on the back cut for the easy layup. He went three of nine from the floor. Some more nice passing here. J Rob reverses to Singletary with a no look dish to Dwayne Roberts for the one handed slam. Pat Knight's squad with 14 points in the paint in the first half, and Tech leads 9 to 6. Later, Tech on defense, and Reese pokes the ball away. The team steal leader controls the fast break, finds Robertson on the wing, and J Rob dishes back for the alley oop finish. One of five Red Raiders in double figures, Reese with 10 points on the night. Texas Tech in transition here. Another missed opportunity for the Tigers. Robertson, alley oop. Tyroo! Wow! 10 on Missouri. What a pass from Robertson. Let's see that one again. Now Tech in conversion. The senior guard duo teams up once again. This time David Tyroo kicks it over to Robertson for the long three, and the Red Raiders have their largest lead of the game, 28-21. But the Tigers respond with a 16-6 run over the next six minutes. Michael Dixon with a steal, reels it in at midcourt, and Marcus Denman converts the two-on-one opportunity at the other end. Mizzou with 20 points off Tech turnovers, and the lead is three. Missouri breaks out to a seven-point lead, but Robertson ends a five-and-a-half-minute field goal drought. He gets free in the paint and sinks the 18-footer to cut it to five, but Missouri led by four at the break. Mizzou comes out of the locker room firing on all cylinders, opening up the second half on a 10-1 run. Here Dixon hands the Tigers their largest lead of the game with a long-range two and his 58-45 Tigers. However, no quit in the Red Raiders. Tyru three of six from beyond the arc here from the near corner for three, and Tech is chipping away at the Tiger lead. Here Robertson logs one of his team-high seven assists. Tyru again from the corner and one as the Red Raiders cut the deficit to three. The senior was 16 points, half of them in the second half, 63-60 Missouri on top. Tech shot 50% from long range in the final 20. Here, Robertson three ball from the wing completes the 18-5 comeback, and we have our fifth tie of the ball game. J. Rob with a season-high 28 points, including six of 11 from three land. But the Tigers come clawing back. This fast break dunk by Justin Safford was part of a 19-6 Missouri surge on their way to a 13-point lead with five and a half to play. Roberts cuts the deficit to six on the tip in here with 3.18 to play, but Missouri holds on down the stretch to end the Pat Knight era, ousting the Red Raiders in the first round. 88-84 is your Wednesday night final from the Sprint Center. Coming up after the break, Christy Curry is mic'd up in our Inside the Game segment. More Red Raider Weekly coming up next. At Plains Capital Bank, we believe in Texas Tech University. That's why we have made it a priority to support Texas Tech for over 20 years. We've proudly contributed to the Jones Stadium expansion, the new Rawls College of Business, the United Spirit Arena, and the Merkett Alumni Center expansion. We also created the Plains Capital Presidential Endowed Scholarship. Because at Plains Capital Bank, we know the Red Raiders have the momentum to succeed. <laughs> UMC is the primary teaching hospital for the Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center. The partnership between UMC and Texas Tech places us at the forefront of medical training and knowledge. It's a place where a team of professionals is committed to your care. As a teaching hospital, UMC is here for you today while training the doctors and nurses of tomorrow. It's my school. It's my team. It's our hospital. Hey, college sports fans, since 1993, the crowning achievement in college athletics has been the Learfield Sports Directors' Cup. Learfield Sports has teamed with college athletic directors in USA Today to honor the very best athletic programs in the country across all divisions. Year after year, student athletes, their coaches and leaders compete for the Learfield Sports Directors' Cup by pursuing excellence. Follow your school's ranking all season long at thedirectorscup.com. 